So I got a really interesting product that came in the mail today that I want to unbox. Now I typically don't do unboxings, but given the fact that I'm probably one of the very first people to have this, I figured it would be a good thing to unbox this. Now this is the solid pod and what this does, especially for people who shoot or film with the C200, it allows you to shoot using an SSD. Now, if you have a C200, you already probably know this, in order to shoot internal RAW, you need this guy right here. This is a CFast card. This 256 gigabyte CFast card will run you $300. Now, if you're using an SSD like the Samsung 860 Evo, this one terabyte, one terabyte will cost you $250. So what this does, according to what they claim it does, is it fools, it has a little CFast card reader, which is like a dummy, and then that connects to this solid pod, which you attach this SSD to. Now, in theory, it should work, and there's already another guy, I think he lives in Italy, who kind of already did this. The problem is he you have to break the door from the C200, which is kind of a no-no, you, you don't care about voiding your warranty. And then the other thing is, also it requires external power. The difference between this guy, which let's go ahead and just start unboxing it right now, is that it does not require external power, and it also does not require you to break the door from your C200. So let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. As you can see, it says it works with Canon EOS C200. So let's see if it does. Okay, we have a quick start guide, which I'm just gonna kind of go through over here. Oh, this is kind of nice. So I'll show you guys, you have all of the tools, or at least that's what it seemed like. It has all the tools and uh, even, uh, this is kind of cool, like a little small ball head so you can mount it to your C200, which we're gonna do in a second. So let's go ahead and just kind of take items out of the box. This looks like a little small screwdriver. We have uh, a solid pod right here with the CFast card reader. Pretty small too, I thought it was gonna be much bigger. The box image looks much bigger than what it really is. So you, here you have your little dummy CFast card, and then here's the actual device. Interesting, okay. So I guess the uh, 860 Evo attaches to this. Uh, let's go ahead and see what else is inside the box. So we have a little ball head here. Um, first impressions, it kind of feels a little flimsy cheap. I would have expected something a little bit better quality, but I'm um, not gonna dismiss it just because of that. You can obviously buy something else. That's not the point, but just thought I'd throw that out there. It feels a little flimsy. But this thing does feel well constructed though. What else is in here? Uh, a couple screws, quarter inch mounts for the C200. I'm assuming you can use this if you have like a cage, which I do. Yeah, another one. And then, oh sweet. So this is for the shoe, shoe mount. So this one here is for example, if you want to mount it, if you have like a hot shoe on top, you can use this instead. That's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab my C200, put it on and see uh, how this works. Okay, so I got my C200 here and I figured this out, which is actually very easy. So the way this works is it comes with two mounting blocks. So if you want to quickly hot swap between one drive and another, you can do that. So for example, here's my extra one, and then here's the one that it comes with an SSD. So the way it works is you just basically put this on here, slide this in, it locks into place, and then it has a little screw on here where you, which you just kind of turn, and it locks into place, so it becomes one solid piece. Uh, very strong and sturdy, I have to say. And then you mount this to your camera, and they give you a variety of different options. So I have like a top, it's not really a cage, but it's a little mounting bracket, which you can obviously I have a handle and other accessories that are, that are mounted to it. So I just gotta figure out where I wanna put it for now. I'm just gonna kinda leave it down here and then turn on the camera. And then one of the things about this particular device is that it doesn't require external power, which I really like. And also you don't have to break your CFast card door, which is something that you have to do with this other one, this uh, other guy selling. Uh, apparently this is really strong. It's made of the same cable that an SDI cable is made out of, so you're not gonna break it. So let's go ahead and uh, put it in here. And then supposedly you just close the door. That's it. And it looks, it works. 133 minutes. I don't think you'll be able to see that, but uh, <laughs> 133 minutes. 
Okay, so that's pretty awesome. Now let's go ahead and hit record. It's actually recording. I don't know if you guys can see the little red light above. We are recording in RAW and everything is being recorded here. So the idea is that you can mount this somewhere where it just, you know, you could probably mount it up here, which I might just end up doing that. I might just keep it here. I don't care. I'm recording. I have two hours. Or I could maybe mount it up here. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it does come with a little ball mount if you want to use that instead. And now you can record with an SSD. I'm going to keep testing this out because I just got this. Uh, I'm going to do a follow-up video maybe in about a month or two. I'm going to start using this because obviously this is really convenient. And then once you're done recording, all you do is just, you know, stop recording, take the CFast card, and then you plug this into your reader. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty cool. Like I said, I want to test it out because I want to see how it holds up in the heat, in the cold, and just overall real world usage because that's really what matters. It seems to work good, but where it matters is if you're in a professional shoot and then your data is corrupted. So stay tuned for a follow-up video. Like I said, I will do something like this probably in about a month or so because I really want to put it through its paces. Follow me on Instagram if you guys want to see behind the scenes. I always talk about stuff that I use and you guys will most likely see it here, me testing it out. Thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.